Hi guys, it's Caroline, and today we're talking about student accountability in the math workshop. If we hear anything from our teacher community, it's the question of how do I make sure my students are doing what they're supposed to be doing during math workshop? And that's what we're here to talk about today. Let's get started. When your students are working in centers for math workshop, if you want some more tips and tricks on that, check out this video. When your students are working on their centers in math workshop, we have planned these activities, we have chosen these activities. These are the skills we want our students to really be practicing. But how are we gonna make sure that our students are really, really doing great work? If you have the blessing of an aid or an extra set of hands in your room, that's phenomenal. But even then, that's only one other adult to help you run that show. There are four things we suggest to make sure students are on task and working hard during math workshop. The first thing we suggest to really build that student accountability during math workshop is one that's actually gonna make your life easier too. Don't grade everything. Think about it. If you are following the not so wimpy teacher model for math workshop, your students could be doing like 10 different centers activities over the course of a week or two. And if you have 24 students and you're grading 10 centers activities and looking at tasks they might have done in small group and looking online to track their data for their fact fluency, oh my goodness, can you imagine how much time would go into those tasks? Make your life easier and don't grade everything. I know what you're thinking. Um, if I don't grade it, then my students aren't even gonna bother doing it. And I think you'll actually be surprised. Students need time to comfortably practice a skill. And if students know that you're giving them the opportunities to practice a task without grading it, they will genuinely view it as practice. It's a great time to catch errors, mistakes, and misconceptions that you can work to address with those students. Also, when students know that this task is just for practice, it gives them the chance to really dig into their understanding. Our second tip is to grade some of the tasks. Don't grade all of it, but definitely be grading some of the tasks your students are working on during their centers in math workshop. Students will know that you are expecting great work from them. There will be a grade attached to the task and it's their opportunity to show you what they can do as a mathematician. I always try and make sure that I am grading independent tasks that my students are completing. A lot of times when you're grading group tasks, there are students who that really bothers them. I was one of those students. I never wanted group work graded because I was the kid who didn't want to work in a group. I would rather have done it by myself. So grade a handful of tasks each week and make sure your students know that that task is their chance to show you what they can do. We also think it's so important that you are checking in with your mathematicians throughout the week. We suggest having your students bring their centers tasks with you to small group later in the week. So maybe when your cycle of groups you're meeting with has started over on like Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how your schedule is set up, Ask your students to bring a center's task with them. You can use the first few minutes of your small group to flip through. It's a great time filler if students are coming and some are straggling. Start grabbing those activities and looking through them with your students. Ask them to model a problem for you or explain how they solved something. By having them show you their work, they know my teacher is going to be checking on this activity. They're going to be looking at what I'm doing when I'm not working directly with them. Therefore, they're gonna work to give you their best, most accurate work. Another great tool to make sure your students are being held accountable for their center work when they're not working with you in small group is to use those technology tools. There are so many amazing resources out there for our students to use to practice their math skills and continue to grow as mathematicians. These are fantastic tools because of the tracking piece that goes along with it. I can tell when I sign into an account and a student only worked on there for seven minutes, or they might have worked for 30 minutes, but they only answered four questions. The accountability is really easy to follow through with these 
programs that are tracking your student work. We do want to remind you though, a lot of times as students get more correct, it then gets harder to reach that 100% or that gold star, depending on what site you're working on. So maybe set a time that students are expected to work. You're expected to complete this many problems. We want you to reach 85%. You want to make sure it's attainable so all of our students can reach success during that time of math workshop. That student accountability piece is so important for math workshop. And there are so many pieces that go into making up a great math workshop. If you are looking for more ideas, tips, and tricks to help improve your math workshop, maybe you already have one running in your classroom, or maybe you are just now diving in to math workshop and you wanna implement it in your classroom. We have the program for you. The Not So Wimpy Teacher Math Masterclass is now live. We are so excited about this class. It is seven modules about running math workshop in your classroom from beginning to end, planning, assessment suggestions, centers ideas, implementation, all of the pieces are in the Math Masterclass, which is now live for you to sign up. As we are working towards the dream math workshop in our classrooms, make sure you have the student accountability tools really in place. This goes along with teaching those behavior expectations. If you want more tips for behavior, check out this video. Building those ideas for student accountability and making sure your students know what your follow through is going to be is so important for building a successful math workshop. As always, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Make sure you zip over to sign up for the Math Masterclass and let me know down in the comments what else you wanna see from us. Maybe you're looking for more math content or maybe you have other big questions we can help you answer to help you in your classroom. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we hope you have a not so day. Bye!